Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Minor Detail. Alright, now, uh, gonna be doing something a little bit different because I know I have been gone for a while. There have not been any videos uh, because I was kind of getting bored with uh, the format of the channel. Everything I've been doing with just the, uh, the few games I was playing as a series to completion. And just like how I kind of got bored of doing uh, Dead Space, I got bored with those other games I was playing. So what I'm going to do now is try something new, see how it works out. I'm just going to do some one-offs. And uh, so the first one I'm going to do is, obviously you can see here, Batman Arkham Origins. Basically, I mean, what I want to do with these one-offs is, you know, just kind of show off some games, play it, try it out for myself, see what I like. Um, and, you know, this in this case, I've already played this. So I want to talk about it a little bit. Um, I wouldn't so much say it's a review, but I mean, I'm definitely going to share my opinion about it. I am a huge Batman fan. I love Batman, and I especially love these games. Arkham Asylum, then Arkham City, now Arkham Origins. Um, extremely fun. Um, I know some people have complained, you know, it's the same exact game, the same styles like this, the fighting and everything. So here, let, let's show off a little fight here. Oh, I totally missed that. There we go. Oh, bam. Bam. Nope. No gun. And do a tag down. And reverse. Reverse. Or counter. So, uh, much like the other games, I mean, it plays the same. You've got your gadgets, you can grapple onto things, you can glide around the city, you can beat guys up. And uh, there's a bunch of side challenges to do as, you know, part of the story. Um, people also argue that the story is too short. I figure, you know, it, it was about the same length as the other two games. Um, the, the main bulk of the story, the actual story campaign, I was able to beat, just like the other ones, uh, within two days. Because when I pick up this game and I start playing it, you know, for the first time and I actually have some time off from work, I was able to, yeah, I was able to beat it within two days. No problem. Um, and I guess, you know, some people are upset with that, but then you, you gotta keep in mind there's also a whole bunch of side quests and stuff, and of course they're doing some DLC stuff. One thing that, uh, that kind of bothers me about this, because I did purchase through Steam the, um, the Season Pass, so any DLC that comes out for the game I will automatically get. Um, so... I look online to find out when, you know, what's the DLC that's coming out, when is it coming out, and I could not find any, like, real straight answers, and maybe someone has a link out there they can share uh, to show me exactly, you know, what's coming out on PC and when, because I, I couldn't find any dates. I, I kind of, I saw some stuff that's, you know, if you pre-order through... You know, GameStop, you get this. If you pre-order through Amazon, you get this. And if you pre-order for PS3, it's this. Xbox, it's this. PC, it's this. Um, you know, and nothing like... Look, I, I just want to know what I'm going to get with my season pass. And when. You know, if you have, like, an estimated date for that. Because I also recently got, uh, you know, uh, WWE 2K14. And I looked up the DLC on that. And it tells you on their official website what the DLC is, when it's expected to release, how much it's going to be, you know, if you don't buy the season pass for that. And I'm like, that that is incredibly handy. That's how it should be. Anyway, enough of that. Um, to talk about the game itself. Again, if, if you enjoyed the first two games, you will enjoy this. It is, you know, the same gameplay you love. Um, uh, the city is, it's the same, you know, Gotham City but slightly bigger. Um, you will recognize some locations from Arkham City, but now, you know, it's not contained inside these walls of a prison inside of a city. It's, uh, you know, it, it's it's bigger. Um, and they actually have, you know, there's, there's several districts throughout the city, and um, since it's bigger, they, they've introduced a quick travel. So let's just do it real quick. We'll just go here. So you can quick travel to different districts, and here we go. And this is what it looks like. And here I am, I'm in the other part of the city. So, you know what, loading time on that, not bad at all. Um, 
pretty quick. Again, this is on PC. I haven't seen it on PS3 or Xbox 360, so I don't really know exactly, you know, if there's if the loading times are different. Um, also, the story. Now, let me go ahead and go in about the story. Uh, I know that this game has gotten mixed reviews. Uh, mostly good, I want to say, but I did see some, like, pretty rough, bad reviews about the game. Not so much the gameplay, because everyone loves playing as Batman, and they did get the gameplay correct. They got it right with the first game of the series. So, you know, once you're used to that, it's like, okay, I'm happy with it. But, a lot of people complained about the story. How the story really has a lot of holes in it. Um, it's not exactly canon in the, uh, you know, DC Universe. Um, sorry, I'm just focused on beating these guys up right now. Uh, you know, the, not to give too much away what the basic story is, and they showed this from the trailers, is... The villain, uh, Black Mask, is um, has hired a bunch of assassins and put a bounty on um, on Batman's head. And so there's all of these assassins that are after Batman now. And so he decides, you know, whatever, uh, he finds out about it. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to find them and I'm going to stop them uh, because they're going to put the city in danger if they don't find me. So I'm going to go ahead and go out and find them first. And so ba that's basically the story. That's the gist of the game. Um, I absolutely enjoyed the story. I thought it was great. It's kind of, uh, I mean, this is obviously, if you don't know yet, it's a prequel to the other games. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, if Frank Miller did, you know, Batman Year One, then this is kind of Batman Year Two almost. Um, he is a, a younger Batman who's been doing, you know, doing this for a couple years now. Um, Still, it's, you know, have, have, we've seen in different storylines in the past, including, you know, uh, Tim Burton's 1989 Batman movie, um, where, you know, the, there's rumors about the Bat, you know, going around and, and fighting crime. Is that just a myth? Is it, is it real? Is it a man bat? What is it? Is it, you know, an actual giant bat? Or is it a man in a suit? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? What's going on? So that's kind of how the game starts off. Uh, since Batman's rather new... Um, people aren't really sure about him and who he is and what he is. And I, I, I thought it was great. It's a good origin. Um, the, uh, the guy who does the voice, uh, forgive me, I do not have the names in front of me. I don't know what his name is. Uh, but, I mean, yet it wasn't Kevin Conroy like he was in the other games in the animated series. Um, but he's, he's good. I, I feel like he's just a dead ringer for Kevin Conroy. He def definitely sounds like, you know the same character. He sounds like Kevin Conroy's Batman, you know, maybe slightly younger. I don't think this is spoiling anything. Uh, if you saw the trailers, you know that uh, Joker is in the game. Again, it's not uh, Mark Hamill from the other games. Uh, it is someone else. Again, he does a good job as well. Um, but the story with, you know, Batman and Joker in this, because it's kind of, it, it is their first meeting. Uh, you get to experience that in this game. And if you're a big Batman fan, you know, you know, the uh, the relationship between Batman and Joker that goes on for a long time. And they are the driving force for each other, basically. And the way they handled that in the game was perfect, I felt like. I thought it was great. Now, that being said, a lot of people's complaints are, um, you know, this all happens in one night. Batman is meeting all these villains for the first time within the same night, including Joker? Like, really? Uh, that seems a little too hard to believe. Uh, also, the fact that this game is only set five years before Arkham Asylum. That doesn't make sense. Arkham Asylum, um, the first game, when you start that, you have the sense of, okay, so Batman takes Joker in, at the very beginning of the game, that's the whole thing. He, he you know, brings him into Arkham Asylum to put him away, lock him away because he's captured him. And you just have that feeling like you do in the comic books where, okay, these guys have been at this for years. They're just always, it, it's the same thing. It's Joker, you know, you know, gets out of hand. He escapes or whatever. He's on the loose. Batman has to, you know, go get him and lock him up again. And they just go back and forth. That's how it's always been for years and years. 
you don't have a sense of, oh, it's only been five years since they first met and he's been doing this. It seems like it's been going on a lot longer. So that's, that's definitely a problem I kind of had with it as well. It's like, well, I don't know. Especially the other characters that, you know, come in throughout it. If you remember in Arkham City, you know, there's a cameo and then, you know, DLC, you get to play as him, of, uh, you know, Robin. Also, Nightwing's in that, so you can play as the uh, little challenges as Nightwing as well. So, that means there's been at least two Robins, because Nightwing is, um, is Dick Grayson, the original Robin. How, what Robins have there been? There was Dick Grayson, who went on to be, um, Nightwing. Then you had, uh, was it Jason Todd, Tim Drake... Which one was it first? I, free, I think Jason Todd came next, and he was the one that they killed off in the comic books. Um, and then Tim Drake. I could be wrong. <laughs> and then uh, Damian Wayne. Uh, but, so, and I think that other Robin that was in the game was not the one that was killed off, Jason Todd. So, that means there have been three Robins by that point. So, within five years, there's been three Robins? <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. Um, you know, there's other characters too uh, that I won't bring up, but the same, the same thing applies to them. Where it's like this all happened within five years. Like this character developed into who the character is in the next game within five years. Like I, I feel like it needs more time, more space there. So they should have said it a little bit before five years. Other than that, I, I felt like the, the story itself was good and fun, you know? It's it's a great Batman type of, not not necessarily origin, but a year two, like I said. Um, now, on to the real bad stuff. The bugs. The game, you know, at, when it first came out, and I'm not really sure how it is since, but it was incredibly buggy. Um, if you've read any of the message boards or reviews when it came out, there's actually, to unlock um, these towers here, which the communication towers, which actually unlocks the, you know, fast travel points, um, to unlock these, you have to, you know, actually go in there and basically hack the computer. Um, there's one of them where you can't actually even get to the computer to hack it. Uh, you get stuck because you have to climb through a vent. It's the only way in or out once you're in this room. So, you know, there's a vent on the wall. You use your grappling hook to pull off the grate on it. And then you use your grappling hook to get up there. And then you just hang from it. And you're supposed to be able to pull yourself up and climb in. And you can't. It's completely just, it's broken. It's glitched, and as far as I know, it's been reported in all versions of the game, on the consoles and the PC. I know it's on the PC, but on the consoles as well. Huge bug, you know, and I can't believe they did not see that. And it actually took them a lot longer than I expected to fix it. Um, I believe the recent patch that came out has fixed that. Um, I have not tried it because I actually used, there was a a way to, you know, use a game glitch to get around it, which I eventually did because I got sick of waiting. Um, also, another glitch, and I'll actually show it to you right now. Um, and sorry, I'm going to go ahead and give you a warning right now. This might be a minor spoiler. Uh, not big, but somewhat. Um, so stop right now if you don't want to hear it. But uh, one of the, the assassins in the game that is after you as Batman is Deadshot. Uh, Deadshot was in the uh, previous game as well, in Arkham City. Um, he is one of the assassins after you here as well. So you confront Deadshot at one point, and here it is on the map. Deadshot. Confront Deadshot, uh, Deadshot <laughs> at the Gotham Merchants Bank. So let's go ahead and go there, and I'll show you exactly what's going on here. So we'll put a waypoint there. Uh, okay, here it is. The entrance to the bank, and... I showed you the icon on the map. I'm supposed to go here to confront Deadshot. All right, here we are in the bank. Now the first... Oh, hey. Oh, it looks like they fixed it. Okay, so 
I, I'm going to go ahead and leave because I don't want to spoil this. Um, I can tell you about it once Batman's outside. So the first time I went in there, it looked like that, like it's supposed to. You saw there was guys all over the map and in the room. And you're supposed to, you know, go ahead and fight those guys. And they're basically dead shots, uh, cronies, they're his thugs. And so you have a battle with them. Uh, using your stealth and everything, taking them out one by one, as Batman does, and it's always fun to do in those games, in these games. And um, um, once you take those guys out, you know you're supposed to then go ahead and attack Deadshot himself, which I did. And then all of a sudden, Deadshot disappeared. He was just gone, off the screen, and I don't know what happened to him. And I s suddenly saw more guys run into the room, and I was like, okay. I guess what I'm supposed to do, Deadshot kind of goes away for a second, I take out more guys, and then I can fight Deadshot again once those guys are gone. Well, I took out all the guys, and Deadshot never came back. It was That's just how it was stuck, and it was just kept saying, hey, you're supposed to go back here and fight Deadshot. But every time I went there, there's nobody there. There's one hostage in the middle of the room which, who I can't interact with, and Deadshot's supposed to be there. But he's gone. He just never came back. I don't think he was ever supposed to disappear in the first place. And that was just infuriating. Because I'm like, that's a part of the story that I need to finish. And I don't get to now. You know, and they patched the game. I downloaded the patch. And I, I haven't had any type of weird glitches since. There's been other minor glitches. And that one, you know, I was able to go back to the bank. And it was exactly how it was. It still didn't have Deadshot there, and there's nothing for me to do there, so I was really upset about that, but it looks like, as we just saw, they must have fixed it. Uh, other things, there's, you know, there's parts of the game where you, you know, um, you'll find a crime scene, and you investigate the crime scene using your detective skills, uh, and then Batman's able to figure out who committed the crime. Um, you can then track the criminal down, and, uh, you know, fight him and his guys, and then interrogate the guy. And it will give you the option once the other guys are all down, you've knocked them all out, and he's the only guy left, that you can hit a button to interrogate him. Um, <laughs> there's a couple times where it just doesn't give you the option. Everyone's down, and the guy is sitting there begging for mercy, which usually then gives you the option, okay, he's begging for mercy, go ahead and interrogate him. It doesn't give you the option to interrogate him. You can hit the button however many times you want, there's nothing you can do. And you're just stuck that way. There's other glitches where you will suddenly just start falling through the world. You know, I, I was um, I was doing a side mission, and this particular side mission, once you accept the mission, there's a timer. You have to get to a certain point on the map to do something in this amount of time. As soon as the mission started and the timer started, I <laughs> began falling through the world. And you can't do anything. <laughs> You're just falling through the world, and then all you can do is restart your checkpoint. I even restarting my checkpoint did the same thing again, so I had to turn it off and play the game again later, and it worked. So, really frustrating things. It's a very buggy game, or at least it was at first. It looks like, uh, if not all the bugs, most of them have been fixed. But yeah, I mean, that that's just kind of my opinion on it. Um, overall, I enjoy this game. I think it's a great game. Um, other people may disagree you know it's new writers on it these guys who wrote uh for the assassin's creed series of games um it doesn't have paul dini as a writer like the other two paul dini if you don't know was uh, a writer on the original batman the animated series so he worked with you know kevin conroy and um mark hamill which is you know probably the main reason why they were in the other games the gameplay is awesome the story i think is great you know, you may disagree, but hey, that's my opinion. So that's uh, that's Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, I'm going to try and edit this as much as possible because I could talk forever about this. And it might be kind of boring. Um, I have not played the uh, multiplayer on this at all yet. Um, I've had this since the 25th, since it came out, since midnight of the 25th. And um, I still have not played the multiplayer. I heard the multiplayer was kind of buggy as well at first, but that was the first thing they patched. What the heck is going on here? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, the first thing they patched was multiplayer. Uh, I still haven't played it. Um, maybe I'll do a short little video showing off the multiplayer, uh, see what that's like. But I think that's it for now. So thank you everybody for watching, and goodbye.